I had to get hundreds of beacons for the massive build in my last episode, and it was a pain to get them all. So I'm gonna build a massive beacon factory, complete with a beacon assembly line, beacon water fountains, a massive beacon vault, and even a beacon waterfall. And I think we can start right here. Ow. Now, I already have all of the pieces of the puzzle to build this factory, because I only need three resources to make beacons. Obsidian, glass, and nether stars. And I have one obsidian farm here that's really slow. And I have a faster one here in the nether, but it requires gold to trade with the piglins. As for glass, my concrete factory already produces basically infinite sand, which I can then smelt with my super smelter down here. And then for nether stars, I have kind of a crappy wither killer that traps the withers under the portal here and suffocates them to death. And I have a wither skeleton farm that I forgot to mention that gets me infinite wither skeleton skulls. So basically, we just need a way to seamlessly connect all these farms to make the ultimate factory. But let's first start by building the actual factory building, which we can build right here in the center since that's where the wither killer is. First, let me grab some wool so that I can make a basic outline. And I need to remove this beacon. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to make this outline not look too much like the redstone factory because we don't need two identical factories, so. Okay, this looks good. Slightly less angled and a little more blocky, I, I guess. But this is just an outline, so it kind of looks silly. So let's go get some materials to make it look good. And those materials will mainly be a bunch of deep slates, some tough blocks, a bunch of basalt blocks, a bunch of different stone variants, and then prismarine and some sea lanterns. Okay, this should be a good amount of materials to get the factory started. So let's do the lower walls first. Now I'm gonna use this deep slate brick and these blocks to make kind of a gradient that goes up. Okay, this texture looks good. Now we go around and do this for the rest of the walls. Okay, these walls look pretty good, but they're definitely kind of flat. So I'm gonna add some pillars and then maybe like some stripped up lighting with sea lanterns and that'll definitely add a lot more depth. Next, I went ahead and built the top of the factory. Okay, and then finally we'll do a skylight here with some tinted glass. And with that, the main building should be done. But, uh, as I'm looking at it, I think we're gonna need to make it a lot bigger. Cause we are definitely gonna need more space if I'm gonna fit all these cool gadgets and machines inside. But to get more room first, I think I'm gonna need to remove these three obsidian pillars. So let me get some materials for a beacon really quickly cause I'm definitely gonna need haste. We'll set it up right here. Okay, now we just mine away these pillars. Okay, now let's cover up these new holes we just made. Next, I went and got all the materials I would need to expand the factory. Okay, we got all the materials we need, so now I can use my totally real magic stick to just automatically expand this building like this. Boom, and now we'll do the other side, and uh, boom. You see, when you play this game this much, you unlock these uh, special powers. I uh, totally didn't spend uh, 35 minutes building this, but anyway, jokes aside, now the factory is way wider. So now we have plenty more room to fit the beacon assembly line inside here. Okay, now we can expand the factory upwards and this will give us way more room for the water fountain and the vault. Oh yeah, that's starting to look real nice. Now for the inside here, we just need to remove this roof and oh yeah, that's looking really good. Now I just need to remove the end stone floor here. Okay, and then we add in a new floor like this. There we go. Okay, and that pretty much completes the main building. Next, we need to start connecting those other farms to the factory. And first, I think we can start with our wither skeleton farm because this thing is gonna provide both the coal so we can make glass and the wither skeleton skulls so we can kill withers to get nether stars. And this thing is also over a thousand blocks away from my end portal. So what I think I'm gonna do is make an ice boat path from my home base to this farm and then from my home base to all the other farms we're gonna need for the factory. And then finally, one from my home base to the end portal. So we'll be able to get to and from every single location super quickly. So next we're gonna need to get a bunch of ice. Luckily I have a bunch of these glaciers near my base, so let's destroy a bunch of them.
Okay, 30 minutes later, we got nine shulker boxes of packed ice. And now we're just gonna craft this into blue ice because it's 15% faster roughly than normal packed ice. Okay, now we can just start our ice bridge at the bottom of our farm here. Ah! And if you're wondering why I don't just build this thing on the nether roof, because it's so flat up there, right? You'd think it'd be a lot easier to build stuff. And the reason is, I think it just looks way cooler to have tunnels going through the actual nether. So let's just build this thing all the way back to my portal. Okay, and here we are. And I think I need to raise the portal up just a little bit. So let's do that really quick. And we'll make another opening right here. Now that we have our path, let's go ahead and get our materials to build the tunnel. And we're also gonna need a lot more blue ice. Luckily, all my farms in the world pretty much covered everything I was gonna need. Okay, and now we got all the materials that I think I'm gonna need for the tunnel. And oh my god, this is gonna take so long. So, let's get going. Oh yeah, this tunnel was really big. It took me about four hours to build the entire thing. But like I said before, look how cool it looks. Just cutting straight through the nether. Way cooler than if it was just sitting on top of the bland gray bedrock of the nether roof. Okay, we're finally done with this long tunnel. Now I just need to build the tube that goes up top. Okay, now I just need to build that same bridge from here to our nether portal that connects to our end portal over there. And this should definitely be a lot easier this time around. All right, now we just gotta readjust this portal a little bit. Okay, and for the last two connections, we're gonna need to connect our piglin bartering farm so we can get our soul sand and obsidian. And we're basically just gonna do the same thing with the ice tunnels. So I'll dig out an entrance right here. And then I think I'm gonna need a couple more materials. Now we just dig out another tunnel and build one more bridge. Now we just gotta build some stairs up to the farm. All right, and that's all of our connections to the factory more or less done. Now we can start on the actual features of the factory itself. But first I need to quickly remove these three pieces of ugly floating bedrock, just cause they're annoying me. So let me grab a piston really quick, a lever, a trap door, and also some TNT. Then we need to build this little contraption like this. Then we flick this lever, do this, hold this down, and... It didn't work. Crap. It always takes a couple tries when I do this. Try this again. There we go. Now just do that three more times. Okay, next we need to place some chests for our materials so we can craft beacons. All right, now we can just stock up all these chests with beacon materials and then mass produce the beacons with this crafting table here. Let me also cover up the end portal though so things don't fall in. All right, looking good. And whenever we upgrade to 1.20, we can probably make like a contraption that auto crafts the beacons for us using these chests. But obviously, we can't do that yet. And down here, we have our final component to the beacon factory, which is our Wither Star farm. Basically, you just put soul sand in here, Wither Skeleton skulls in here. Oh, I'm almost out. Flick this button here and this lever here, which will then push you back and forth and allow you just to spam place soul sand, trapping an infinite amount of withers. So we can farm up as many as we want. It's not the fastest farm in the world, but I couldn't find any faster designs to be honest. Maybe one day- Oh, the withers exploding broke all the item frames. Uh, maybe if I put them higher up that won't happen? Okay, hopefully that's fine now. Anyways, now I wanna build the conveyor belt. So first I'm gonna need to craft up some grindstones and then we're gonna need some redstone stuff as well. Okay, and then back in the factory, we can put the grindstones, actually let's put them like this. And this will be like the track that the items are pushed across. And we put something like this with a piston on top. Do that on each four sides. Then we're gonna need to dig out a part of the floor here so we can put some wiring underneath. Okay, and then we run a repeater here and a line of redstone into it and then a line of redstone out this way. And then we need a delay of three repeaters going into this next block here. So one, two, three, and then a repeater in here. And then we just do that for each of the four corners. 
Okay, and then we just put this here. Uh, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I think I did something wrong. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I'm supposed to put a delay of three in this. Do that on all of them. And I also added a little bit more space. There we go, okay. Now it's working. I think maybe the redstone lines were too short or something. So by the time it was getting around, because as you can see, the string of redstone power is just rotating around. It was connecting with itself and getting stuck. Okay, now let's cover the floor back up. And I think for the stuff that's going to be on the conveyor line itself, I want to use alternating glass and diamond blocks. Because if you look in the middle of the beacon here, it looks like a block of diamond. I know it's the nether star, but it just looks like diamond, so. Okay, so now we just place alternating blocks like this. And then when this comes back, boom. Now it should just start rotating around slowly. All right, now we're going to build three more of these, one here and then two on the other side. I might not have enough diamond blocks. And that's conveyor number three. And just like I thought, I'm out of diamonds. I had just enough for this third conveyor and we need to build one more. So it's time to go mine some more, I guess. So let's head down into my abandoned mine shaft that's been covered up for like a thousand days. I don't remember the last time I went mining for diamonds. I think it was when I first started this series. Jesus, that feels like a long time ago. All right, let's get mining again. Two hours later and I had enough. All right, there we go. All right, now let's build our last conveyor. Okay, that's our conveyor belts done, but it doesn't quite look like a proper factory line just yet. Let's add some paneling to this back wall here and the walls around so everything doesn't look so gray and we kind of have a difference between the outside and the inside. Okay, let's try maybe some spruce wood like this. We'll also fill in some spruce wood like this. Oh yeah, that actually looks really good. I think I'm gonna do that all the way around here. So boom. Boom, boom, and boom. There we go, and yeah, that looks a lot warmer. Now let's put some beams going across the top of the room here. And we'll use these to create a second floor. Where we can build our grand vault to store all of our beacons. Okay, now I need a kind of staircase that goes up here too. I want to replace it with some concrete powder because this will make the floor appear more industrial, I think. Okay, that looks good. Let's do the same on this side. Okay, done with this side now. And I want to build like a cool robot arm that can interact with the line. So we'll do this. That looks really good. Let's build one here and then two more over there. Okay, nice, nice. Now I'll put a little caution line on the floor here so people know that they're entering dangerous factory equipment areas. Okay, and now we can build our fountains next, which is gonna spew out beacons and nether stars. And I think I'll build them along this wall here, so it kind of goes around here. So to make it so it can spew out items, I'm gonna need a couple redstone items. And I think it's mainly just going to be observers and droppers. And then a bucket of water for the actual fountain, and then some stone, oh, and also some hoppers. Okay, so making this fountain is actually super simple. We just need to break a little bit of this wall here, so I have some space to hide the redstone components. And then we need a small cutout of how this is going to look. So I think like this, and then like this, and then this, and then this. This is the shape that we'll have for the fountain. Just need to remove all this stuff. And then all we have to do is put a bunch of droppers going up like this, and then take our observers, have them facing into the droppers. And then we need two droppers here that will fire into each other. And because they're firing into each other, they will constantly fire, activating these two droppers. And then all we have to do is put one here, and put one here, and put one here. And now all of the droppers are constantly firing. So now we can take these hoppers, direct them into this dropper at the bottom. And now, no matter where I drop an item in here, it will come out of the top, just like that. So we'll put a little frame around the outside here, and a bucket of water on top. And then to start it, we just need a bunch of beacons and nether stars to throw in here, and it'll automatically start itself. Now let's build one more on this side, and then we'll add a little bit of detail, because obviously this is very bland. Doesn't look that good yet. Okay, that one done, and let me really quickly just add something to the back of the conveyor belt here that I wanted to add, that I forgot to. Let me grab some extra wither skeleton skulls, and we'll grab some extra soul sand too. Alright, now we just turn on the machine, and sit here and farm nether stars. Okay, this should definitely be enough nether stars. Now we just throw them in here until we have a perpetual cycle coming out of the top. All right, that's one, and they're kind of getting launched too far. I might have to put up a little wall here. Now we do the other one, and that's two. And now we do the same thing with the beacons. And let me put some slabs here so stuff stops falling out because it keeps shooting out of the sides. 
All right, we're done. God, I'm so rich. Now, last but not least, we're gonna build our beacon vault that's gonna be up here. And I want this place to be super secure, so we're gonna build a high-tech vault door that can only be opened by a secret lever. Let's get some materials for it. Okay, and we'll start building up the door here. Gotta make sure I place all this redstone correctly. Okay, there we go. And normally the door works by just flipping a lever here, just like this. But obviously I want to have my secret entrance. But before we do that, obviously this is too high up. So let's build up some stairs and build out this entire room and the vault. Okay, and that's everything for the vault door and entrance. Now we just need to build what's inside the vault, which is obviously gonna be beacons. But I wanna do one more thing too. I was kind of inspired by how cool I think the fountains are. And I want to actually build a nether star and beacon waterfall in here too, which I think will look really cool. So we'll put it on this wall here. And all we need is the same redstone materials we had for the fountains, plus honey blocks. And I have nowhere near enough honey blocks. And I've been meaning to build a honey farm for a while because this little setup is just not cutting it. So let's get some materials and build a farm in the end. And now we'll get these hives full of sleeping bees since it's nighttime, and that's everything we need. And this farm is super simple, so this shouldn't take long at all. All right, now we just need to put some bottles in the dispensers at the top. Okay, all done, and now we just need to AFK until we have enough honey. Okay, we have our honey block, so let's build a wall like this. Okay, that looks good. Then we need to put a little platform up here like this. And then we need to put some signs here like this to block this water stream that's gonna go here. Then I'm gonna need to grab a couple redstone components, some repeaters, some comparators, and some droppers. Okay, now I need to build three little contraptions like this. Okay, and now every time we put an item into this dispenser here, it will be shot out and stick to the wall and just slide down like this. So next we need to just build two more of these really quick. All right, there we go. Now I need to dig a little trench out of the bottom like this. And then we make a little water path like so. And then we need to build up a tube like this. Okay, put a piece of water here. And now everything we throw in the trench here should just come out of the top and shower down. And I think I'll actually shrink the size of the waterfall down just a tad, because I don't think the items are spreading out far enough. Okay, and that should be good. Okay, now let's just put some beacons into our dropper. We'll do it like this. And there we go, a beacon waterfall. All right, now we can fill up the rest of the vault. So we'll just take all of the beacons that we crafted earlier and just spam the room with them. All right, that looks really good. And now to make sure nobody can get access to the vault, I'll extend the redstone for the entrance out this way. And we will put a lever here and a secret painting. Oh wait, I think I have to cover this up first. A secret painting like that. Okay, now I think if I remove these two, the painting should remain. Uh, how do I make it so the painting stays there? Wow, I'm an actual noob. I looked it up, you need signs. So we'll make some signs really quick. Place them like this. Put our lever here, and there we go. Now we can make a secret entrance. And now if you wanna get into the vault or close the vault, you go in here, flip the lever to close, go back in and flip the lever to open. And you would never know it's here except for the fact that that I just told you exactly where it is, but whatever. Now the very last thing I need to do for this factory is build our giant beacon logo on the front. And I'm completely out of diamonds again, so let me go get some more. About 30 minutes later, I had enough. And now we can just build the logo at the front of the building here. And our beacon factory is complete, let's go! Big thank you to all my patrons, especially Harry Your Son, Toxic Viper One, and Yugar. A copy of the world download is available on my Patreon and it's updated every time I upload a new video. But until next time, see you guys later, have a great day, bye 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 bye!